Hey everyone, welcome back. We're finally back with another MFP knowledge video. And this one is gonna be based around the easiest level in Mario 3 rather than the hardest level of Mario 3. A lot of people struggle with this level as kids and so did I. And we are gonna look at World 2 Sun level. So without wasting any time, I just wanna jump right in and get into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do this level every single time. You never have to worry about that sun ever again. And you will also say, yeah, the two sun is the easiest level. Let's jump right in. So first thing is first, we load up our practice ROM. I mean, whatever you guys have, emulator, EverDrive, practice ROM. Uh, some, I used to use Game Genie. Game Genie actually works pretty well for practicing Mario 3 if you don't have either of those things. Normally when you do this level, you have a fire flower. So you're just gonna go ahead and equip your fire flower in safe state. There is one thing to note about the sun. He does not get triggered until you're about halfway through the level. So if I just go and go, and then when we get close to about the halfway point, which is a little bit after the tornado, Let's see, about halfway, there it is, about the halfway point of the level, then the sun starts to trigger. And man, oh man, did this sun ever give me trouble ever since I was a kid. But as a speedrunner, it does not give you any trouble at all. Now that we got a couple of those things out of the way, there's another thing that I wanna show you, and that is you can actually kill the sun with a Koopa shell. All you have to do is wait for him to come down, you stand still, and you throw the turtle shell at him. Now the sun won't come back either, he's gone. So you, I mean, if you really, really wanted to in a non-speedrunner method, you could do that, that would be very easy. And then you could just, you could just do the level like pretty normal. But you guys want to speedrun it, you wanna go fast and you wanna turn this into being what once was the hardest level for you into the easiest level. All right, so as it goes from the beginning, we start the level and you wanna hold forward and B. Mario runs with B button on the D-pad. Same, same button as shoot. So you press A to enter the level, and then you hold B and forward. See, just like that. Look at how I can show you guys, you see? This is how easy this level is. You know what, I'm actually gonna demonstrate to you guys like this, how easy this level is. I'm not even looking at the TV screen anymore. I'm using the OBS playback, okay? The sun level is the very, is the most easy level. And look what I'm doing with my fingers, it was nothing. But let's actually get down to, to the science behind what I'm doing. The first thing I'm doing is, holding B and running, and you just simply jump from platform to platform at the start. There's nothing special, there's no, no secret. Just jump from platform to platform. If you wanna get really technical, you wanna try and utilize a little bit running down these little slopes. Uh, I, I highly doubt it will even save you many frames, but you do get some weird pushes and stuff. Once you build P-Speed before the tornado, it's up to you how you wanna do the jumps. I mean, it's open for everyone. I could do a full big jump and go right over the turtle if I wanted. Run down our hills, we get it. I like to jump across because I'm going for world records, so I really take these hills serious. So I run down as much as this hill as I can before I run into the Koopa, but you don't have to. As long as you jump over the Koopa, you're fine. So you just get P speed. See, I run down the hill a little bit and then I'm right there. Next step is that when you get to this bush, this, uh, oh, okay. There's gonna be two big bushes and then one single bush. When you get to the middle of the single bush, that's when you're gonna wanna do your jump through the tornado. You see how I, I use the bush as the background? Oh, we almost got taken by the tornado. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this turtle shell. So there are two methods of getting through the tornado. I'm gonna save state here so we can play around with it. Uh, one of them is, is that you can just medium jump here and it just pushes you and you go, right? I've seen other runners do a jump before and crash down into the tornado like that. Or you can do the biggest jump possible up and through the tornado and just go flying into the air like this. However, you don't know exactly when you're gonna drop. Let's try it again. It all depends on how good you do. I mean, look, at I was in the air for so long and I mean, you don't know exactly when the sun is gonna rotate and when he's gonna charge, right? And let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. If we take a look at the sun right here, I'm gonna create another safe state right here. The sun is gonna rotate one, two, three, four. He rotated four times before he charged at me. Let's see how many he does here. One, two, three. He did three rotations, you know? So that's why the sun is very strange. I think that was four. I don't know if he goes to five, but we know he goes to four. Let's see if he does like a one-er. One, two, oh, he just did two there. So we've seen four, three, and two. Another thing to note about the sun, the priority of the sun's hitbox is on the left side of the sun. 
So if I stand here and the sun's coming and he gets close to me on the right side, you see how the sun pretty much touched me, but I was able to avoid it? That's not gonna that's not gonna be the same way on the left side of the sun. The hitbox is a little bit bigger on the left side. You see how kind of in the same place I was, and I still took damage, right? You see how close it was? Now let's watch him come very close on the right side of the sun, and you see how I didn't die? So the right side of the sun is safer than the left side. You see how easy it was for me to die there? Very, very annoying. You wanna know what's not annoying? Discounts. Today's video is sponsored by Into the AM. If you go into the description below, there's gonna be a link there with my code on it. If you click that link, you can get 10% off your next purchase. Not only are these shirts incredibly comfy, but check out these designs. As soon as I saw these designs, I mean, I was sold. I mean, check this out. You can get a shirt that looks like this. If that's not your style, maybe you can get a shirt like this. I really like this shirt. Or my personal favorite, I love this shirt. If you're interested in a design like this, you can get this shirt right now if you click the link in the description. Woo! Like I said, all you gotta do is click on the link in the description and you are introduced right away. They got the t-shirt club, they got their best sellers, they got bottoms, they got underwear, they got headwear, they got bundles, they got gift cards, they got sales, they got everything. They even have an about us section if you wanna learn more about what Into the AM is all about. Lastly, you can check out three for 60 graphic tees. Now that is the deal that I'm talking about. Make sure to click the link in the description below to get 10% off your next order. So let's just, let's just go ahead and do a quick little refresh. We have our platforms, run down our hills a little bit, build P-Speed. We can jump, jump over, wait for the little bush, medium jump, okay. So now it gets really easy because even if the sun does one full rotation, you, you have enough time to make it to the second brown blocks before anything. And this is where the easy part comes in into play. You simply just want to alternate where you big jump and when you don't big jump over the brown blocks. And let me show you what I mean. We'll create a safe state. We'll get there all comfy. Don't worry. Full big jump, land on the brown block, run off, brown block. Okay, so I waited for the sun to go. And that's, that's the idea that you want to do. Like, keep just running. Like, just run and go normal and wait for the sun to charge. And if he charges you when you're on this part of the ground, you want to jump from this part of the ground to this part of the ground every time. But if he charges you when you're running on the brown spaces, then you go from the brown space to the brown space. Okay, so now that we're here, I'm going to show you how to avoid the sun during this little process. Because when you turn back, you see how I jump? The sun moves in a weird way, like he slows down, he follows you with the screen no matter what. So if I wait for him and I move, you see how the sun kind of... The sun was going down like this, but he moved with me as I was going down. It's, it's so strange. The sun kind of follows your movement, kind of like uh, the Lakitu. See how I turn and yeah, you're right? It's so strange and that's how people get got. That's how people get got. Okay, so let me try and show you an example of how that works. Brown, ground, see how I'm on the ground now? Okay, so let me show you a good example of when the sun does something different. So he waited to go and I'm just gonna simply jump from one spot to the next. The end is gonna be a little bit tricky because if you full big jump from here, you're gonna land in the sand pit right there where I'm shooting. You're gonna land in the sand pit. So you have two choices. You can side jump off the Koopa and land to safety over here, or you can jump over the Koopa and land to safety right here. Cause you don't wanna jump into the side of a downward hill. That sucks. So I always jump right here. It's just something I've done for a long time. You don't have to copy it. And you, don't, you definitely don't have to do it the same way that I do it. There's no need for that. So let me try again and give you guys another example. You're gonna to wanna to run off, you wanna... Remember, always wait for the sun before you react. Just just keep running. Just keep running and avoid everything. Yeah, da 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 da. Just avoiding everything. Okay, there's the sun. Boom. Very easy. You can run under the Koopas. Sometimes the Koopas will actually get you. You gotta watch out for that. But yeah, you just run. When he goes, now I start to avoid the sun. And that's it. And then you do your last few jumps. These are all just medium jumps. The sun can't get you when you're at full speed here. If you get an opportunity, run down the last hill and then you complete the level. Let's keep trying to get a couple a couple sun patterns so you guys can see all of them. There's realistically, I mean, if the sun only rotates between one and four, there's only four different patterns. Okay, so that was perfect. You see how the sun went for me at a different moment and it resulted in me avoiding the sun when I was on top of here instead of the ground, right? If you're on top of here, you want to alternate between these platforms 
right? Now, like, you want to jump between those platforms rather than the ground, right? That's that's the trick behind it all. You just, depending on where you are, you alternate between those platforms. So I'm on the ground, so I alternate between the ground. You see that? If I'm on the, if I'm on the wooden platforms, then I alternate between the wooden platforms. See, now I'm going to alternate between the wooden platforms because he took so long to go. Okay, let's try this again and see where the sun is. One, two, three. He spun three times, so I'm on the ground. And then I just do my alternating. So, what I do here is just like a kind of a small jump. So I land on the flat, and then the flat, and then run down the hill. Because you never, ever, ever in Mario 3, you never want to jump into the side of a downward slope. You can get something called Sticky Hill, and it's... It's just like a wall jump. It's just like a wall jump pixel. It's just like a clipping into the walls where if you get the right sub pixel, where in this instance would be the wrong sub pixel, you would get stuck into the ground and you'd come to a dead stop and that would be really annoying. Um, so yeah, again, it all depends. You, you just got to practice and play around and then this level will be so free for you. Look at that. You see how I just, I changed the way I was alternating them to, to benefit me because I was more comfortable with the brown blocks. So in a nutshell, that is the sun level. There's really not much to it. It's not hard. You don't even have to build P-Speed. You can just do the level normally, but now you kind of understand more how the sun works. You know when to jump to avoid the twister, and you know how the sun works. I don't necessarily know the rhythm if you don't have P-Speed, but I do know that I need to alternate every time I jump. Yep, there he is. As long as I'm on the ground and I just go right over him. So I have just transformed the fear of sun Everyone has the fear of sun. Fear the sun no more. The sun is super easy. It, it, it's by far, it's one of the easiest levels. We can tackle the next easiest level in the next video. We can break that down and I can show you guys just how easy it is. But I wanna see more people in the comments below saying how much they learned and how easy this level is. I want everyone to boot up their Nintendo and give that level a try. It is super easy easy. Now wasn't that level so easy? The most important thing is that I really hope you guys learned something and now again when you watch me do that level it's a little bit more broken down and you understand exactly what I'm doing and if you are wondering yes every single level that I play is broken down in little weird things like that every single level. So if there's a level that you guys want me to break down and you request to be broken down, put it in the comments below and I'll take a look and maybe I, maybe my next video or some of my MFP knowledge videos can be based around breaking these levels down and showing you guys a whole bunch of tips and tricks that you would normally not see in a speed run. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed and I'm finally back on the YouTube grind guys. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends and family because it is knowledgeable insight Mario. Everyone take it easy. Thanks for watching. Woo!